Hey guys, Dave Jacobson here with Fred Daddy. Hope all is well. It's been a while since the last tutorial, so I wanted to kind of get something up for you guys. Uh, I just heard a really cool tune called 3WW by Alt J. So I actually liked it so much I did a cover of it. Uh, you can check it out on the YouTube channel if you want. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys how to play it for anyone who's interested. So uh, uh, I'm going to zoom in and show you how to play it. It's probably not a beginner tune, but it's maybe intermediate. So I'm going to zoom in and uh, show you how to play it, but I just want to flag the fact before I do that that it is in drop D. So what I do is I keep all the, the top strings, the top five in standard tuning, and I just drop the, the low, low string. So let me zoom in, show you how to play it. Alright, zoomed in. Hopefully you can see the guitar a little bit better. So this is the first fret. Hopefully you can see everything. Move over just a little bit. There we go. So the first part is this... Uh, hammer-on part and basically it's on the uh, it's on the D string and uh, the, fir the first two notes are on the seventh and tenth fret so you start out by hitting the D string and then seventh fret tenth fret but you're gonna hammer on so you're only gonna play the string once with your plucking finger and you're gonna go like this uh, and then you, you keep doing it's going to basically be the same idea for each of these but uh, you do that one and the second one same first two notes but the seventh fret and the ninth fret this time so those are the first two and then there's two more this time we're going to go down the 2nd fret and the 5th fret. I think that's right. Yeah, I listened to it. I think it was the 2nd fret. And then 2nd uh, fret and the 5th fret. And then the 5th fret and the 7th fret. So all together it's... Listen to it, and you can kind of, you can, you should be able to hear uh, how to how to do it in terms of the rhythm. Uh, so that's the first part, and then it goes into this kind of uh, rhythm part, which is. Uh, so it's I'll do it slow. Uh, the finger, the, the notes you're playing are the low E string, and then on the the the. Uh, D string again, you're going to play the 7th fret, so it'll, it'll be like this. Uh, <clears throat> so that's that part, and then it goes back to... Does that again, and then it does this part where... Uh, Same exact rhythm as that part right here, but the notes you play are different. Now you're playing on the 5th fret of the E string, and then the open string on the D. So. Again, it's the same rhythm, so. That's basically what you're doing. And then after that, it goes to this next part, which is... Um, basically the same rhythm, but wait, I'm doing this wrong. It's I think this is it. And basically, you're doing a a hammer on. Um, First you play the 11th fret of the D string and then the 12th fret. So that's what you're doing on the D string. And then again, you're just hanging out on the low E with your thumb. So those are the notes. I might have the rhythm wrong. I'd have to go back and check, but. That's basically that part. 
Um, and then a after you do that a couple times, there's the, the neon, neon, neon thing. Then you play this chord. Which is uh, an A all the way up here. Just a bar chord, basically. Don't hit the E string. And then you play an A chord. And then this cool little almost Caribbean style uh, riff. So basically, you want to have your index finger on the, on the seventh fret covering the top four strings and then with your uh, your ring finger and your index finger you're going to kind of form like a semi bar chord so that you're playing those three notes I'll get a little closer so you can see a little better so ring finger here goes on the D string index finger goes up on the B string and then you're barring the seventh fret with your index finger and then I, I just play the the top three uh, strings of this chord. I don't play the E, e string. So, and then remove your index finger and your ring finger, and just play the index. So together it goes. And then it goes right into. right back into that riff we were just playing. There's the rhythm. So that's the rhythm for that. Sorry, I kind of blanked earlier, but I remembered it there. Um, and then you, you play that whole part twice. And then, and then after that, there's this part that goes. And basically, you're just playing the E string and the D string again, and you have your your uh, your middle finger and your ring finger on the same exact frets each time. So you start out on the twelfth fret, and then you go down to the seventh fret, and then you go up to the tenth fret, and then you go down to the fifth fret. So, fast, like that. And then uh, this part's kind of cool, I like this. It's, uh, you're gonna have your index finger barred on the fifth fret, play the, the bottom two strings, and then with your, with your pinky, it's kind of a stretch, uh, all the way up on the ninth fret on the D string, so. And then, uh, <clears throat> 4th fret, 5th fret, 7th fret. So. And then 2nd, 2nd, 5th. 2nd, 2nd, 5th. So all together goes. And then you're going to just move your pinky up to the 6th fret. And that kind of walks up to the A chord. Oh, sorry. So you're just walking down. Once you get up to the A chord, it's A string, and you're playing the, the three notes of the A chord. So, and then walk down from the A. Uh, sorry, that's that's not an A. Yeah, yeah. You walk down from the from the A to the, this isn't an A because we're tuned down to D. I don't know if I said that in the beginning, but hopefully you picked up on it. Uh, I'll, I'll make a note to go back and put a little uh, text thing at the beginning so you'll know that. But uh, yeah, this, this low string is, uh, is tuned down to the D, it's not an E. Which is why you might be like, why does it sound different on my guitar? So my bad on that, but yeah, we're on we're on D. The, the low strings on D. Um, so so that's not an A. It would be an A, but since we're tuned down to D, it's uh, what is that? G, I guess. 
So. And then, I just wanna love you with my. <laughs> and then, uh, you're, you're, now, now we're in D. Again, you're gonna walk down, but you're gonna walk down from the D this time. So. You could start here if you want, or you can play the open string. So we walked all the way down, and now we have to uh, get rid of that D chord and come down here. So this is, I'm just barring the fifth fret and playing the top, the bottom three strings. And then, uh, and then make kind of like a D chord. So you're going to play 4th, 5th, 4th fret. 4th, 5th, 4th. Sorry, I'm going fast, but you can obviously rewind this at your leisure. Because uh, it's going to be hard to fit this whole song in a short video if I don't go fast. And that's just the 2nd fret. 2nd, 2nd, 2nd. Again, the bottom 3 strings. So let's try that. Uh, so... And then it goes to this kind of funky part. So you're going to play 4th uh, fret, 4th fret, 7th fret. I know, that's alright. Yeah, so 4th, 4th, 7th, 2nd, 2nd, 6th. Again, all just on the these bottom three strings. And then uh, open, open fourth so sorry <laughs> I keep doing that so that's basically the chord there the three chords there then it jumps up to here uh, ninth ninth twelfth and then seventh seventh Eleven. Seven, seven, eleven. And then uh, open, open, fourth again. And then you repeat that. A couple times. And then, you know, the rhythm changes, but... You can do whatever you want, you can get a little funky with it. But you just gotta play those notes, obviously. And then it goes back to the... That part we did before. And then goes back into the... down from the A. So we learned this whole thing already. It should sound familiar. I just want to love you with my own language. And there's that part. And that's pretty much it. That, those are all the parts of the song. You can go back and listen to the song to get the exact mapping if you'd like. And uh, hopefully that helps.